Hi, today I'm gonna to talk about mortgage insurance premium. What is it, why do you need it, why have I heard about it, and how does it work? So, mortgage insurance premium is a premium that protects the bank in the case that you default and you cannot pay your mortgage. We only need to take mortgage insurance premium whenever we put less than 20% down on a, prop, on a purchase. Canadian banks are very, very risk averse. So whenever we're putting down less than 20%, it's considered a risky loan in their eyes. And because of that, they're happy to do so, but they require the insurer. There's a couple of different insurers. You have Genworth, you have CMHC, and you have Canada Guarantee. It doesn't really matter which one you go with. 95% of the loans in Canada are done with CMHC because that's the government backed entity that is able to insure them. But I'm gonna go over how it works and the breakdown of what it is right now. So depending on how much you put down, we're gonna to have to see what the premium that they're gonna charge us is. So if you put between five to 9.99%, you're gonna to have to put that, uh, you're gonna to have to pay a premium of 4%. Now, how does this premium work? I'm gonna show an example a little bit later, which is gonna make it a little bit clearer because it doesn't affect your interest rate. It has nothing to do with that. It's just an amount that's gonna be added to the mortgage. And again, it'll be much clearer after with the example. Now, if you put between 10 to 14.99% down, you're gonna have a premium of 3.1%. As you see, the more you put down, the premium has gone down because the way they see it is that if you're willing to put more money down, then the loan is gonna be less risky. Now we're gonna take it one step further. Let's go to a down payment between 15 to 19.99% down. Well, at that point, the mortgage insurance premium goes down to 2.8. So as you see, it keeps going down. And finally, if you put 20% down or more, there's no insurance premium, so you no longer need it. You get to go just with your down payment and straight to the mortgage, all right? Now let's take this into an example to make it a little bit clearer. So in the example, let's take we're buying a property at $500,000. And you're putting a down payment of 10%. So 10% of 500,000, that leads us to $50,000. That's gonna leave us with a balance of $450,000. So we had 500,000, 10% down, 50 grand. Subtract that from there, it gives you $450,000. On this balance, I have to add back the CMHC insurance premium. So we put 10% down. On the example I gave before, that would put us into, in line with the 3.1% insurance premium. So we have that. So on $450,000, 3.1% gives you 13,950. So now what we do is we add the 450 to the 13, 1,950, that's gonna give us a total mortgage amount of $463,950. Now, it's not a huge impact. And a lot of times people say, LJ, should I wait till I save 20% so I can avoid the mortgage insurance premium? And I say, how quickly can you get there? Is really my question. Because a lot of people say, oh, it's gonna take me an extra two years. Well, in two years, the property is probably gonna appreciate at least 3% per year, if not more like we've seen in the last couple of years. And you're gonna be missing out on a lot of money. So you're much better off buying today, paying the mortgage insurance premium, that's gonna get worked into the loan, and at least being in the money, having the asset and gaining the appreciation on the property. So if you tell me that you can have the 20% saved up in two, three months, so I say, okay, well, two, three months, then make it happen. Of course, we can even start looking because we'll be able to probably time it in two, three months that we find the home and you're ready to buy at that point. So I wouldn't say wait, 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 so you have 20%. It's always get into the property today because as we've seen historically, prices go up way more than our ability to save. That's mortgage insurance premium. That's how it works. Please comment below if you have any questions.